Welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk, where we dive into exciting developments in the world of technology. I'm your host, and today we're exploring something that's really gaining traction in the realm of databases, LibSQL. So what exactly is LibSQL? Well, it's an open source fork of SQLite, created and maintained by a company called Terso. Now, SQLite has been a staple in modern technology for years, embedded in devices from smartphones to servers, but it comes with some limitations, particularly in its openness to community contributions. That's where LibSQL steps in, aiming to evolve and enhance the SQLite experience. Let's get started by addressing some key features of LibSQL. One standout feature is the concept of embedded replicas. This means you can have replicated databases within your app itself. Imagine having the ability to make your applications more robust by storing data locally while ensuring everything stays synchronized. Pretty cool, right? Another aspect is that LibSQL supports multiple programming languages like Rust, JavaScript, Python, and Go. This cross-language compatibility is crucial because it allows developers from various backgrounds to adopt and implement LibSQL seamlessly into their projects. Now, let's talk about some enhancements that LibSQL brings to the table. The ability to modify column types and constraints with the alter table extension is a big one. You know how frustrating it can be to design a database only to find out a change is needed? This extension really makes that process smoother. And hold on, there's more. LibSQL incorporates features like WebAssembly support and user-defined functions, which can enable developers to execute more complex logic directly in the database. It even has a virtual write-ahead log interface. For those unfamiliar with that term, it's basically a way to manage database transactions more effectively, ensuring data integrity even if there's a hiccup in the process. Now, speaking of community, one of the core reasons for the existence of LibSQL is to foster contributions. Unlike SQLite, which has a closed contribution model, LibSQL welcomes inputs from developers worldwide. This openness could lead to incredible innovations. If you had the chance to suggest a feature for LibSQL, what would it be? It's exciting to think about the possibilities when a community comes together with diverse insights. Another important aspect of LibSQL is its commitment to compatibility with SQLite. The team behind LibSQL has committed to maintaining the file format that SQLite uses, which means you can ingest and write the same files without any issues. However, they're also open to adding extensions like encryption or checksums later on, all while keeping that compatibility intact. That's a smart approach, don't you think? LibSQL is also designed to run embedded, allowing it to operate inside your application without needing that pesky network connection. It's essential for building efficient applications while reducing latency. And for developers who prefer to work with Docker, there's full support for running LibSQL in a containerized environment. Again, how user-friendly is that? As we wrap up, I hope you've enjoyed this overview of LibSQL. To recap, we've explored how LibSQL is enhancing the database landscape by encouraging community contributions, offering powerful features like embedded replicas and multi-language support, and committing to compatibility with SQLite. Before we close, let me leave you with this thought. If SQLite has already made such a mark in technology, just imagine where LibSQL could take us. What features would you prioritize if you were in charge? Thanks for tuning in to Tech Talk today. Consider diving into LibSQL yourself and discover how it can support your next project. Until next time, keep exploring and keep questioning.